JT loves Sadira. He wants to be with me 24-7. But his mother doesn't approve. No, you want to be that your mom always be asking about me. He's be saying that to make you feel So she went shopping for somebody new. Who's looking after his underwear, lingerie, and things of that nature. After JT had a booty full blind date. Just the back would have been cool with me. I could have walked around backwards with her arm. <laughs> and she gets to meet the family. He said that he wanted me to meet his mom at his mom's club. I didn't know it was a strip club. Will they have a change of heart? All right, thank you very much. I'm Chris Jagger. Welcome to Change of Heart. Let's meet today's couple, and in an unusual twist, their mutual best friend. It was four months ago when our couple met at school. She was sizing him up with her ruler and giving him high marks. Eventually, they spelled out their feelings for each other, and she's been sharpening his pencils ever since. Please welcome Sadita Wins, JT Taylor, and their best friend, Ricky McDowell. Welcome to the show. And Ricky, I know you know these guys better than anybody, and we're going to get your opinion yeah. about them in just a second. <laughs> okay. JT, I'm going to start with you first, though. Tell us how giving a person Sadita is. Sadita doesn't give me anything. Oh. Nothing. So wait, wait, you shouldn't always be, like, trying to give me something and expect something in return. I break my back I mean, for her. So what? Like, you break your back, return. but who nothing. cares? You got to give nothing. a little back, I guess, oh. Sadita. I mean, you always just drama. It's like, no, I mean, it's not. <laughs> Ricky, you're best friend with both of these guys here. Yeah. What bothers you most about the way JT will handle an argument like this with Sadita? All he does, he buys her. That's all he knows how to do. He oh, buys her everything. A oh, buyer? He buys her, he buys her. That's all so, he knows how to do. If she starts, he just finds Who's something to give her. All he does is basically, I mean, she I'm your best friend, friend but I was her friend first. So and basically, friend friend if you look at it, he buys first. her flowers, shoes, clothes, everything. That's right. It. Okay. <laughs> now, Sadita, if he's not buying your love, what else does he do when you disagree about something? <sighs> All he all he do is smother me, or he cries like a baby. That's all he, does. he cries like a baby. Uh, like a baby. If, well, he's sensitive. If, what what yes, girlfriend doesn't want to be no, smothered? No, wait a minute. But you're too sensitive. Don't, don't you think that shows that he cares a lot about you, or? But I mean, he shouldn't always do that. I mean, for it. he too always much. try to act extra macho, and he's not. He's really sensitive. First woman that I've ever cared about. Period. I, I would, and I so mean, that I, means a lot to you. Uh, yeah. Now, Sadita, you said he smothers you, though. What do you mean by that? Like, too much all the time? He smothers me. He wants to be with me 24-7. And then, <laughs> I, mean, he wants, I mean, I thought by going to school would, like, kind of make us separated. But he wanted to take the same classes with me. Wow. I, I want to be, be with my me girl all, all the day, time. every I mean, day. I, have a son, I can't be with him 24-7. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now, Ricky, what about a lot of women, though, would actually like the fact that they want to be that close together all the time. What's Sadia's problem with this? That's true. She uses him, but I mean, <laughs> baby, she's she's my best friend. Best friend. That's my best friend. She uses that's him, but I mean, I don't use him. I mean, I try to get what I can get, but I don't use him. JT, let me ask you about Sadia as far as sincerity goes. How sincere do you say she is? Sadia couldn't keep a promise if her life depended on it. So what? You just always want she makes that promises do. that she'll keep promises and breaks that promise. So, so she can't even keep that one. She can't even keep the promises that she promises she'll keep. Mm -hmm. So what? But you just because you always want me to do something that I can't always do. You gotta never. understand well, that you I can't have a son and, and she can't, can't always do. be with now, you. Now, JT, all what the about time? when you guys are out and you're actually on a date? What's the biggest problem with her? I can't get no loving in public. Uh, no affection. No because hands, it seems no like kiss, you always no, gotta prove to no somebody. Anything. You always gotta prove to somebody like your friends that you're with me. You always All gotta always just. With her. He's trying to get some love in though. When anybody else come around, you just always have to grab my hand or kiss me or something, just so you can prove it to everybody. By All right, wait. Let me go to Ricky one more time here because uh, why do you think they're really good for each other? I mean, they're inseparable. Basically, they're so funny together. They bring just brightness into my life and everyone else's life. I mean, they're so great for me. They really are. <laughs> so, Dina, what makes JT such a great partner? Well, JT would do anything for me. If I told him to go outside naked with a leash on, he'll do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he just would because he's that type of guy, and he's real sensitive, and he'll just send me flowers just, just because. That's very nice. So why come on the show today, then? Because I just got out of a five-year relationship, so I just want to make sure that you know, I could be committed to someone like that again. Mm, and not just bouncing back. And yeah. JT, what are you hoping to discover today? 
Well, I came. I called the show because you know we were developing feelings really fast. Right. I wanted to see how solid, you know, what I'm saying my love for Sadita really was. <laughs> All right, that makes sense. Now, Ricky, we're going to send you off because we're going to meet the dates, but we're going to have you come back at the end of the show before we get their decisions and All see right. what you have to say then. Okay. All right. Now, coming up next, find out why JT was dropping his drawers before he and his date were even out the door. That's next. <laughs> JT. JT wanted an attentive, flirtatious gal who wouldn't mind his sensitive side. So we found him a cuddly co-ed who loves a man who isn't afraid to show his true feelings. Give it up for Irana Benson. Sadita, what do you think of a match of Arena for JT? She's okay, but she looked like she'll be just like him conceited. Oh! <laughs> All right, Arena, what about you? Did you have to make any promises to JT before your date? Um, actually, he wanted me to promise that I wasn't going to be late. And when I did show up on time, he was not even in the shower yet. Well, I'm not, I'm not used to anybody keeping their promise, so... Oh, so you expected she was going to be late. Now, JT, before you actually jumped into the shower, did you get a glimpse of Arena? Uh, actually, I was walking into the shower door, and I happened to look down because I forgot some things downstairs, mm -hmm. and all I could see was curly hair and this beautiful ass. <laughs> nice combination. And Arena, first thing you noticed about JT? Oh. His ass. Yeah. What ass. When I walked into the room, his pants fell around his knees, and um, he Dead did Calvin mind. Klein justice. I see. Oh. All right, now, the good thing is you both got to see each other from the backside. JT, how'd she look from the front? From the front, she was off the hook. I mean, just the back would have been cool with me. I could have walked around backwards with her all day. <laughs> <laughs> the front was cool. JT, you said Sadita never does anything for you. What about Arena? Well, first off, we went to dinner at this Chinese buffet, and she brought my napkins, she brought my food, she refilled my drinks. It was just all well, unasked for. you always do that for me, so I don't have to do nothing for you. You won't do it. You so it was a nice change. Because right. I know I won't do it, because you do it for me, so I don't have to do it. So, Arena, here you guys are having dinner, a uh, conversation, of course. Did JT then share with you any concerns he has about his relationship with Sadita? <laughs> Um, yes, Ashley, he said that she is very unaffectionate, and the only time that she calls or the only time that she comes around is when she wants to go shopping or when she needs a little money. Oh, oh yeah. don't even go there, because I asked you for nothing. So don't even go you there. You ask for stuff. I don't ask for nothing. You ask for stuff. No, I, Wait, let me, see what else, let, me, let me see what else Arena heard. Did you hear any other girlfriend gossip while you were hanging out with JT? He said that she's very jealous, she's very possessive, and she's very mean. And the only time... Well, actually, well, they'll be out somewhere, and if he would look at another female, she would sock him in the ribs. He'd get busted. <laughs> Mike, Mike Tyson's little sister. Hey, no. All right, JT, what about this date, though? Some point along the way where things got really romantic, you could tell? Well, yeah, things started getting a little bit romantic, but I just couldn't keep my eyes off her ass. It was like... Again. We were, we were holding hands, and I kind of wanted to take two steps back and kind of trail behind her just so I can kind of look at it the G-string. All about the booty, I'm telling All you. About the booty. <laughs> Banging booty. Banging booty. <laughs> now, JT, what about when you were hanging out with her? Did she show you some signs of affection? Yeah, we were outside, and it was kind of cold, and, you know, she kind of hugged me, and it was the warmest embrace I've ever felt in my life. And I don't get any of that from Sabina. Now, JT, all these things are bringing you closer to her right now. Anything that turned you off while you guys were hanging? She got this fetish for candy. The girl eat more candy <laughs> than a whole elementary for the little children. Really? Or just nonstop? Too, because you have a candy drawer, so what you talking about? You well, have a candy drawer in your room. Actually, had a candy drawer because you stole everything. Okay, well, I know. I know. <laughs> now, wait a minute, because something unusual happened, right? Arena, you met JT's mom in a kind of a strange place. Tell us about that. Yeah, actually, he said that he wanted me to meet his mom at his mom's club. And when we got there, I didn't know it was a strip club. And oh, hello. I walked in, I saw this butt-naked man pouring something all down the front of his chest, so in front of me just dancing something. <laughs> I kind of looked at her head, and I'm like, Arena, Arena. And she's like, uh, you know, get her head on. I'm like, Arena. <laughs> Now, Irena, was JT just as fascinated with this guy's moves as you were? No, I just caught a quick glimpse of him, and he 
made a little comment that he was going to show me um, what he has later on. Oh, really? <laughs> Which ain't nothing. So, it ain't nothing. <laughs> he ain't got no body. So, JT, your mom got to meet uh, Arena. What did she think of her? Well, my mom said that Arena was the most beautiful girl she'd ever seen me with. And, I mean, she she doesn't really talk about Sadita like that. Mm -hmm. And now, Arena... You are a lie. <laughs> you always tell me that your mom always be asking about me and always wonder where I'm at. I just and... be saying that to make you well, feel better. I don't care. Oh. It me anyway. My now, daddy don't like you neither. Arena, what, <laughs> Arena, did you get to see some of JT's moves later? Um, yeah, we were in the car, and I was just putting some lotion on my hands. And he grabbed the lotion and he just started, you know, massaging my hands, my arms, and started working on a little bit. Yeah, little and bit. all this rubbing led to where or what? Well, he invited me back to his friend's house and um, we, we did a little kissing there. And um, I, yeah. I give a thumbs up from the lips department. You like that? It was good? And JT, how long did, did this date stink? last? Oh! Oh! The last he kissed me, my lips stink. Uh -huh. no, it's, Take like Skittles. Before I kiss you. Uh, JT, how long did the date last? The date lasted approximately a whopping 14 hours. I just couldn't get enough of it. And like we watched the sun, we watched the sunrise together and it was like, I told her at the end of the date, I had a decision to make. Oh, absolutely. And we're gonna find out what that is, but don't say anything yet. Now, coming up, Sadina's date says that she was finger looking good. Find out all the details coming up next. the scoop on JT's date. Now let's hear about Sadita's. Sadita says that JT cries at the drop of a hat and is more smothering than a WWF death grip. So he matched her up with a dude whose eyes are always dry and has more space to give than the final frontier. Please welcome Renaud Butler. <laughs> What's the deal with the present? Oh, that's just a little something I got to do. Don't worry about that. All uh, right, we'll now. check that out in just a little, little second here. Now, Renat, what about your initial phone call with Sadita? What was that like? Our initial phone call was excellent. We hit it off right off the bat. We talked for like three hours, and the first thing she was bringing up was a sex shop. So I was like, <laughs> okay. JT, they're talking about going to a sex shop or something on their first phone call. How's that make you feel? I was the same thing. She, I mean, she just sex shop. That's her. Put Yo, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, that's what she does. Mm -hmm. For real. Now, yeah. Renaud, you're on the phone with her planning a date at a sex shop, so I'm yeah. imagining you're just like hightailing it right over there. Oh, man, I tried to get there as fast as I can. <laughs> <laughs> you know how traffic is on a Friday in LA traffic? It's hard to get there, so I got there a little bit late, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's all good. Yeah, and Sadita, once he got there, could you see that he was a little stressed or upset? Not at all. He was really calm, unlike JT. He would have had an attitude. He would have, <laughs> you know, had just would would have thrown a fit. A fit. Man, you you would have asked me to come to the sex shop. I'd have been kind of calm too. <laughs> <laughs> would have had a different attitude. Been kind of calm too. Now, Sadita, he finally gets there. You get to see him for the first time. Were you happy with the looks? Yes, uh -oh. he is very sexy. He has. <laughs> Perfect teeth. He has a nice nose that I don't always have to stare at his nose all the time. Just, that's all I look hey, at when I um, see him. His nose. Hey, better, better a big nose big than, a, than a milk dud head. I hear you. <laughs> that's cool. That's all cool. Don't clown me. Uh, now, Renan. Renan, you got good reviews huh? from Sadina. She thought you were really attractive. Did you think the same? Oh, yeah. She was nice attractive. Long hair, brown skin, beautiful eyes and everything. And she had a nice set of beads of just nice running. <laughs> Now, Sadita, besides the schnoz issue here, any other differences that you were pleased with? He has a car, and I mean, he drove me everywhere. Unlike him, he's a scrub. He doesn't have a car. Oh. I, I always have to drive him around. I always have to drive him around, and every time we go anywhere, I drive. And he just sit there, go to sleep, whatever. I've got sleep, a suspended whatever. license. And, and no wheels. And no wheels. I got gotcha. you. Because well, I, I got into a car accident. But when I did have wheels, it would roll straight over hers and his bucket. I see. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Sadita, what about personality-wise? What made you gravitate towards Renaud from his personality? Um, He has goals in his life. He, I know what he wants to do in life. And JT, he just don't know what to do. He was taking classes with me, 
and you know it just he has nothing going Doing for too much for you. So you felt that was a good vibe. And what about yeah. you, Renaud? Did you feel that there was some sort of uh, chemistry there? Oh, yeah. We had a nice connection going on. We seemed like I knew her since, like, sixth grade. Just a nice little <laughs> friendship going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just got to continue the relationship going on. All right. So, so Sunita, things sound like th they're going pretty good. A lot of things that you like. Anything that didn't really set too well with you? Well, Renaud seems like more kind of laid back and, you know, quiet and not really affectionate where... JT, he's really affectionate. And then when I was with Renaud, I didn't miss that about him. Now, Sadina, what about at dinner? Did things pick up a little bit, though? Yeah, we had a mid we went to medieval times, and we can't use, you know, napkins there. So he picked up my hands and started licking my fingers. <laughs> Because this yes. is one of those theme restaurants where you eat with your hands, and so yeah. you got stuff everywhere, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, Sadita, if you had to say one of these guys was more affectionate than the other, who is it, JT or Renaud? JT, definitely. He is. You definitely yeah. sense that. Aww. Yeah. Now, Renaud, what about this sex shop that we heard so much about? Did you guys ever get to go there? Oh, yeah. Of course. Well, of course. <laughs> I mean, I, we went to the sex shop. We had a nice little time. We was trying out, uh, we was looking at this underwear and lingerie and things, things of that nature. We... First, I didn't uh, check it out, but we just stopped right there to see what's going on. And then we just left. Had a nice little time. I had some other uh, things I got her, too, from the sex shop. <laughs> oh, like, so, Dina, can we take out what we got in the bag and see what he brought you? Check it out. Come on, share it with everybody. Oh. Like that. Is there something else? Oh, wow. yeah, look. Wait, wait, hang on. He's oh, he's got the matching boxes. <laughs> Okay, so so he spent five dollars, man. Yeah. <laughs> the little grab bag don't compare to the the smallest thing I bought. I understand. So Dina, what about uh, when you guys were hanging out? Did you get to share some of the romance? Did he show you some moves? Anything? Yeah. Well, he gave me two kisses. The first one was nice and sweet. The second one was hot and spicy. Yeah. Hot and spicy. And Renat, how would you rate your goodbye with Sadita? Oh, the goodbye, it was excellent. I'll say the first kiss was just like a little black cat. You know, the firecracker <laughs> just like a little black cat. Right. A little <laughs> pop. Yeah, just a little pop. But the second kiss, oh man, it was like five sticks of dynamite <laughs> wrapped in the <laughs> All right, well, it's Renat's dynamite kiss with Sadita, enough to give her a change of heart. We're going to find that out next. Stay tuned. Sidita, now they both felt their relationship was moving really fast. So JT wanted to make sure he couldn't be tempted by another woman, and Sidita wondered whether she was really ready for a long-term relationship. We're going to get the decisions, but before we do that, Ricky, you were out here earlier. You're best friends with both of these guys. What do you think they should do? I think JT's proven himself that he loves Sidita. I think they should stay together. All right, there's the word from the best friend. JT, let's start with you. It seems, you know, like you got some strong feelings for Sadita, obviously. Uh, things aren't actually perfect. We sent you out with Arena, and you guys had a really good date. She's beautiful, you said. She made you feel special, which are things that you're looking for. What do you say? Well, you know, me and Arena went out, and, I mean, we had a date. I mean, I had the most fun that I've ever had in my life. She's beautiful. Everything that you can want in a woman. But my heart is with Sadita, so I'm going to say. So you say, stay together. Arena, sorry things didn't work out for you. Now, Sadita, JT wants to stay. You went out with Renaud. You thought he was kind of mellow, but you still had a lot of fun flirting at dinner. You guys hit the sex shop. You had a good time. What's your decision? Well, I would like to, to thank Renaud for showing me, you know, a real good time. And I hope this experience would teach JT a lesson. So I've had a change of heart. Oh! Change of heart. JT, you're not getting what you need out of the relationship, so hopefully uh, there's somebody else that's out there that's going to fulfill your needs in a better situation for you. All right, that's our show for today. Thanks to Ricky for your input about your friends there. Also, thanks to JT and Arena, and good luck to Sadita and Renaud. We'll see you next time right here on Change of Heart. <laughs>